welcome to Messy to Minimal. I'm going to declutter my whole wardrobe, hopefully within half an hour maximum. That's what I'm going for. I'm going to do quick strategies to make decisions about what to let go of and what to keep, and I will share those as we go. But I tried doing my dresses the other day and I just found that it was taking too long and I was quite indecisive, so I'm going to change my strategy. I'm going to be quick and efficient with my decision making. As you'll see with my clothing, it is mostly colour coordinated, so it goes across the rainbow as you look at my wardrobe. We are going to start by decluttering dresses. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get out my absolute favourites, my absolute keeps, because I don't need to spend time on those. I will get the favourites out first and I'm going to put those on the bed ready and then I will go through the others. As I declutter, I'm going to make sure that I use the four box method, so I've got a bag for items to sell, a bag for donations, basket to put anything for the rubbish that is not good enough for donating and then anything I'm going to keep I'm going to leave in a pile and then I'm going to put back up. This one is definitely a keep, it's an all-rounder so I will keep that one. This one is quite flattering on so I will keep this one. It's a little bit snug but it is a good party dress or evening dress so it's quite versatile. This one is a keep because it is really good for holidays and it's really flattering and it'd be good for summer so I definitely know I'll get some use out of it. This one is a definite because this is one that I actually bought a second one of because I shrunk the other one in the wash. So this one is a keep, it's a really good uh, jumper dress which is really flattering. I've got a selection of long dresses that you'll see, they come to just above my ankle and I really love them so these are definite keeps. Same as this one, I've actually got another one that's in a similar style and same fabric but a different pattern. So I'm definitely going to keep both of those because that's a good casual dress. This is a great evening one so I feel like I've got a couple of options there. This is new and it's very flattering and I love it. This is an absolute keep. Okay, so I've got a jumper dress, this is new this year because for some reason I didn't have one. I must have got rid of the old ones, I don't know. And this is a really lovely jersey style long maxi dress, which I love. I bought this this year, but I know that I will use it next summer. This is a definite keep. I love this play suit. Um, so it's great for holiday. So I know that I've got a range of stuff. These are my long dresses that I absolutely love. It's a nice range of different colors and they're really versatile. And yeah, love those. This is the dress I made, it still fits and yeah, quite happy with that one. These are new dresses that I've had this year. Um, some of them are second hand, that one's second hand, the Hobbs one. But it's a really nice pattern so I think that's quite versatile. This one I've had for, I don't know, years, de like at least a decade. But it's really flattering on, it's a lovely soft material. This is a definite keep, I bought this this year. But it's a great one for work and also can be Dressed down, dressed up, so like that one. Right, I've got two like going out dresses. I've already got some, so I think I need to really consider whether or not I want to keep them. I do love this one, love the material of the bottom. So I might look at selling that one and this one. So I've got a wedding coming up in a year's time. I could do with keeping that one. It does fit, but it's slightly tight. Maybe that's one I'll ponder. I think if you're looking at some that you're not sure about what to do. You can turn the hangers the wrong way and put them in the wrong way and then when you use the item and put it back, you put it back in the right way so you can see everything that you've worn in a certain period of time. So I will do that. I will put it the wrong way and see if I wear it. This one, I do love it, but I have other nicer dresses. So I think this one can be sold. Okay, try not to judge all the black, but I've got a black linen dress that I love. That's new this year. I've got a selection of like ribbed knitted ones that I do wear and do kind of live in. So they're definitely keeps. They're all slightly different. 
and another one that's kind of a racer style. This is one I'm unsure of. I did only buy it maybe a year ago and it is a soft fabric, but it's, yeah, I'm not sure. I don't want to keep loads. So I need to narrow it down. And are you a Jane Austen fan? If you don't have your own Regency gown. So this is my Jane Austen gown. Um, I didn't make it, my mum made it. I tried, but I did try and make it, but I did fail. Those are definite ones for keeping. So that's good. That one's also a keep, it's very comfy. Right, these are my maybes or selling or donating. So these I know are definitely aren't sure on. This one feels a little bit too smart. I don't really know when I'd wear it. So I think this one is a good one to donate. I do like this one. I have worn it maybe once and it has got pockets. I have a dress of pockets, but I don't think I'd wear it. I've got some other dresses that I really like. So I think I might try and sell that one. Uh, this one annoys me. I don't like the neckline. So I think this one is going to be one that I sell or donate. It might be easier to donate on this one. Uh, this is the dress that my mum calls a tea towel dress because she says it looks like a tea towel, which I do really love. And it is a little bit tight now. So this is one I'm going to try and sell because I think it's quite pretty. I think it would sell. These are some knitted jumpers I bought. Uh, jumper dresses, sorry. But I'm not... I'm not loving this colour in ways to dress it up and dress it down. This one I do, so I think I'll keep this one. But I think this one could be sold. Uh, this is another Harkle dress. It does look a bit like a tent, but when you put the belt on, it's actually quite flattering. Um, but I don't wear it, so this one is definitely going to be one to sell. This is really nice but it is really too tight for me so this is another one to sell. This one I bought recently but I really don't know when I'll wear it so I'm gonna see if I can try and sell that one. This is a, another impulse buy. Never go without a list when you're buying clothes. Um, I do like the pattern but I just find the fit is a bit weird so I'm gonna sell that one. This one is also too tight, so I think this one will, I will try and sell. This one I do quite like, I think. I'm not sure. I, I can do this with all sorts of different things and it layers up well, so I think I'll keep that one. This one I've decided I'm not so keen on the pattern and I've got other longer dresses that I really love, so that one can go. This one is just too tight. I tried it on and I couldn't actually do it back. So that one is going to be sold. This one I really love, it's a jumpsuit, but it is really quite tight around the waist. So I'm gonna see if I can try and sell this one because it's lovely and it's really pretty, but I'd rather have something that fits really well so this one can go. I've never worn these boots because I bought some other ones and I forgot I had them. Isn't that really bad? I don't know, I think I might try and sell them quite bulky to sell those, they're literally brand new. Never worn. That's dresses, I'm gonna put those back now. Again, I'm gonna try and get my favourites out because I know that I definitely will keep those. I'm gonna do kind of jackets and jumpers for the minute. This is definitely a keep. I really like this one and I like how it sits. Same as this one, it's sort of Ralph Lauren. So I will keep that one. Um, I do really like this one, it's quite a nice way of like looking smart without too much effort, so I will keep that one. These two cardigans are my everyday ones, one's like longer than the other, so I will keep both of those. I love these two ones, these ones I live in quite regularly, that one's like a cropped one and that's just a woolly one. I'm trying to go for quite neutral tones and things. This one I also love, it's homemade by my mum, with owls. This I really love, um, but it is quite tight. So I don't know about that one, let me know your thoughts. I do really like this one, so I think I will keep that. As well as this, I really like the neckline. I think I'll keep that one. It's a black cardigan, but I don't know that I use it that often, so I think I might get rid of that one. It's probably okay for donating. Okay, so that's all the ones that I know I want to keep. This one, I think if it had been longer, was a bit more of a 
longer fit. I think that would have worked well, but it's quite short, so it's very suity. I need it longer to be like a bit more casual. Um, so I think I will try and sell that one. This one I do like, but it didn't wash very well. It's quite solid um, and it did shrink a little bit. So I'm not sure. It does fit, but it is a bit of a weird one. I think if I am trying to reduce it down, but I, I think I need to find another one with a similar pattern and then I'd be happy to let that go. This one I like, but I have got some other jumpers now since buying this one, which I much prefer. It's kind of a bit of a longer one, but I think really I don't reach for it anymore. So that one would be a good one to sell. This one also, I did really love this. I used to live in it a lot, but it is a short arm and it's kind of only really good for summer. So it's a bit of a weird jumper really. Um, it's a fat face one, so I might try and sell that one. And this is another one. I bought a better quality jumper in a similar colour, so this one can probably go. Another fat face one, but I've got better jumpers. I've got another blue one that I prefer, so this one can go. Don't often wear this one. It is really beautiful, but I don't wear it, so I think that one would be a good one to try and sell. I do feel like I'm whizzing through the sections now. Choosing my favourites has just meant that I'm not thinking about those ones, I'm just taking them out and knowing that they're okay. It's then spending the time on the other ones. Right, we've got shirts and tops now. These are like kind of more smarter ones, I guess. I've got casual tops in the drawer, so we'll do that in a minute. Okay, these ones are all favourites. I reach for those all the time. I think that one could probably be sold. I just don't wear it. I'm not hugely impressed with the quality of this one, so I think I will try and sell or donate that one. Right, I do really like this, but I never have an opportunity to wear it, so I don't know whether not to keep it or not. It might be a good one to try and sell. Right, this one I bought not that long ago. Never impulse buy. Never do it. It's really pretty in that it's a peplum, but it doesn't go with anything. <laughs> I don't really know how to style it, so I think I might have to let that one go. I think if it was in a different colour, it might have worked. I think that's probably had its day. And that one I don't really wear that often either, so I think that one could probably go. I've got a few bags that I might have a look at selling. If I don't really use this one, so that one could probably go. I think I do use the others, so I think they're okay to keep. I think skirt-wise, there's only a few that I would probably consider getting rid of. Maybe this one, Kath Kitson. This one. Another Harkle skirt, it's got a button design on it. I think I will try and sell that one. This one I think I will probably donate. I've actually got paint on it, so somewhere. Which is a shame, So, and that's, which is why I never wear it. Although it's not overly noticeable, it's not good enough to sell, so I think I'll donate that one. Okay, that's all of that section. I'm gonna put it all back now. I'm gonna do tops now. I think I just need to get them all out have a sift through and fold up the ones that I'm going to keep and then try on the other ones. Okay, now we're gonna go through shorts and I found some other dresses that were sneaking in another drawer. So let's have a look at those as well. I think I'm gonna to have to assess on a short by short basis. I do like this one, it doesn't have pockets, so I'm gonna come back to it. This one is a keep and this one is a keep because they're elasticated and they kind of mix and match of all sorts in my wardrobe. I think these ones are probably no good anymore so they can go. I've got these ones which are Neutral, they do still fit, so they're good. And I think out of what I've got left, I've got those, which do have pockets. They are still quite short, and those without pockets. But I do want something that is beachy. I think I'm gonna keep those ones, and those can go. 
I've got one of the t-shirt dresses because they're quite easy for holidays. So I think I will keep that one. But I've got this one as well. Which is a good easy throw on dress, but maybe I don't need it. That one can go. Right, two play seats. These I often take on holiday with me and I have worn them on a night out before. That one is quite cute and I do, it does still fit, I might check if that fits. Oh, this one I love but I only ever wear it on holiday. It would be probably quite a good one to sell actually. So I might look at selling that one. Maybe keep that one. I have probably done over half of my wardrobe but I'm going to pause for a bit now. So I might come back to it later or come back to it tomorrow, but I just need a breather. I think sometimes I get a little bit overwhelmed. So I have whizzed through that section really quite quickly and I've got loads to try and sell on vintage, which is great. So I'm gonna list those as well. And then I'm gonna finish off the rest of the wardrobe. If you've enjoyed this video so far, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and press the bell for notifications and subscribe and then you'll know when I upload more videos. This is another day that I've come back to it. I had bits to do and by the time I was ready to film, it was dark and the lighting was not good. So I'm back another day to finish off my wardrobe to cutter. I've done dresses, tops, jumpers, t-shirts. I've done shorts. I'm now on to trousers and then shoes. I know this time I might need to try some items on to see if they fit. So I'm gonna do my yes, no, maybe as my piles, first of all. And then the maybes are the ones that I know I need to try on. So that's another strategy you could try. It's quite overflowing in the trouser section. I think I'm gonna get like ones together. These ones I know that I bought on vintage, brand new with tags but they are too small, so I think I'm gonna sell those ones. That's an easy one. These I absolutely live in, so they're in my yes. These are brand new and I absolutely love, so they're my neutral ones. I've got another pair that I really love. These linen trousers, absolutely fantastic for summer, for holidays, for anything. Right, coloured jean wise, I've got these. And if I'm honest, I don't wear those ones. Realistically, I could sell those. They are comfy, but I just don't wear them. These are my go-to. These are also some other linen ones that are a bit more fitted. I've only got two pairs of leggings. One are fur lined and one are just plain. And I think that's all I need, so I will keep those. Jean wise, I've got these, which are probably too tight. Ones I'm wearing. And there's a pair in the wash, I believe. I think these ones will need to go. I find that these are too tight, so I'm gonna sell those ones. These are brand new, and these are for like going out slash work. Do you have another pair of leggings? I lied. These are like, um, like a blur kind of style ones. These are definitely too tight. Ooh, I found a random jumper, which I do not need. And I believe this one has got a hole in, so I'm just gonna check that one. These ones I will keep, they're quite neutral. And I definitely wear these a lot. I need to check these, so these ones I'll try on. These ones are good, so they will be a keep. These ones I'm not sure on. I think, oh no, they are good. These are my new ones. So they're a keep. Just haven't worn them yet. Right, so I've just got these ones to try on and check. Okay, I did the quickest try on ever. I didn't see the point in trying to show you everything. It didn't take much to work out that some of them didn't fit. These ones were good and I do remember wearing these quite a lot. And these two are too small, so they're gonna go. So that's all of trousers. I'm just gonna put them away quick. Uh, we're gonna do a quick run through our sportswear because I know it won't take long and swimwear. I've got my goggles in there, which I know I keep. I've got two bikinis and two swimsuits. So I think that's enough. I think that's fine. Two tops. This can go. I don't wear it. I find it 
too tight getting on and off. I'm very fussy about jumpers and I will wear that one over anything else. That can go over there. That one could probably go. Okay, I think that's enough for that one. I keep my badminton shoes in there, but other than that, I don't have anything else. I might, now that I've got some room, watch. I might put my golf trainers in there. What I do want to do is empty out this drawer so that I can put my bags that are up at the top area into here. So I'm going to combine all my shoes together. These are probably all definite keeps because I only have a few different things. I have only two pairs of sandals, which actually I could probably get in here. And I can go to swimwear. So I'm ready for that. I'm going to take these out. Um, I do wear these, so I don't have lots. So I can make room now for bags to go in here. That's a good start. Right, that does feel like a better way of storing my bags. I feel like they're going to be looked after a little bit more. I have got a couple of drawers here, so I'm just going to go through because I think there are some things that I could get rid of. Definitely this one because I've already got a different hat. So I'm going to put that one with my sportswear stuff. I do live in those hats, so I'm going to put those. Though I have got a new hat. I'm going to get rid of this one because I've got a new hat that has a bobble. Those ones I'm going to keep. This is a photography glass ball, so I'm going to find somewhere else for that to live. I've got a couple of bags here. They could go in the bag drawer. Right. Bag it. Scarf. Yeah, a couple of scarves here. So I'm going to put those in the other section. If they can go sit up. And those can be stood up in there once all the presents are out. I have finished my wardrobe declutter and I think I would say in total it's probably been between 35 and 40 minutes in total. I know that I already had a smaller selection of clothes in the first place because I've already gone through a couple of times. My quicker strategy this time has made a huge difference. I only tried on things that I was not sure about and I was keeping anything that I knew I wore all the time and I was taking out anything that I know that I haven't worn straight away so that it just meant that those maybes were the ones that I was thinking about. Okay, so I've just gone through and I've edited the wardrobe declutter video and as I'm watching it, I'm thinking I was not harsh enough. So I highly recommend if you've done a declutter, go back round and just double check because there's a few things that I was looking at as I was going through and I was thinking, I don't need that, I've got something else that's better. So I was still holding on to things that I didn't really need to keep, so I'm going to see if I can find them now. Like this one I've kept 
but it is too tight and I've got some other smart dresses. It can go. This one I kept because it was like the other material. The other one is a bit more of a day kind of casual dress, but this one I don't need another evening dress. I'm keeping them for no reason. This one can go. I was undecided in the video and I definitely feel like it's not good enough to keep. It's not good enough reason. And I think I've only worn it once. Okay, those are the things that I think were bugging me the most, so I'm going to just get rid of those three. I feel like just going back round and checking was worth doing because I found three dresses and they're ones I could probably sell. Right, I should be back for more videos soon. Take care. Bye.